Let's review the bones of the hand. Here we have an anterior or palmar view of the right hand. This is our perspective. The thumb is always on the radial or lateral side. The little finger is always on the ulnar or medial side. We have three groups of bones. We have the eight carpal bones in the wrist region. We have the five metacarpal bones. Meta in Greek means after, so metacarpal is after carpal. And then we have the phalanges of the fingers. The eight carpal bones are usually considered to be in two rows of four, a proximal row and a distal row. The proximal row is composed of from the radial side toward the ulnar side, the scaphoid, the lunate, the triquetrum, and then sitting anteriorly on top of the triquetrum, the pisiform. The pisiform is a sesamoid bone evolutionarily, and that's why we have an extra eighth carpal bone compared to seven tarsal bones in the ankle region. The distal row of four is composed of the trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. There is a mnemonic for remembering the names of these bones that is slightly risque, slightly fun. From radial to ulnar, proximal row, then distal row, it is some lovers try positions that they can't handle. Scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. After the carpals would be the metacarpals. Directly distal to the trapezium is the first metacarpal of the thumb. Directly distal to the trapezoid is the second metacarpal of the index finger. Directly distal to the capitate is the third metacarpal of the middle finger. And then directly distal to the hamate would be the fourth and fifth metacarpals of the ring and little fingers. There are two phalanges in the thumb, a proximal phalanx and a distal phalanx. The word phalanx is singular, the word phalanges is plural, one phalanx, two phalanges. The index, middle, ring, and little fingers each have three phalanges, a proximal phalanx, a middle phalanx, and a distal phalanx.